What's going on guys? So I just finished watching The Avengers. Great movie by the way. But we're on the way to the airport to actually pick up some fish. And this is a fish order that I was talking about last week. Really excited. I'm gonna pick them up, unbox them for you guys today, and um we'll put them in a tank. And we'll let them acclimate a little bit. Maybe, you know, give them a couple days or so and then we'll see how they, they look. The summer's calling. Alright, so I just got to the uh, cargo uh, pickup at the airport. I'm gonna go ahead and go in there, grab the fish, come back out, and we're gonna drive back home. Alright, so I just got the box. Uh, shout out to Southwest. Southwest is like the bomb. Uh, very fast. Uh, here's the box right there, as you can see. I did not open the box yet. I'm gonna wait until I get home, um, just because I don't want to stress out the fish. Um, so I'm gonna drive back home, and we're gonna open up the box. All right, guys. So we are back home. So just inspecting the box real quick to make sure that we don't have any issues. There is definitely a leak down here, so hopefully we don't have anything major. Just probably just from the bagging itself. So let's go ahead and open some of these guys up. Got the box open. Um, very interesting choice of newspaper. <laughs> uh, Alrighty, got a heat pack here. Everything looks like it's sealed in here pretty well. Let's see. I don't see any water. Yeah, there's just a little bit of water, just normal water, I think. It looks like it's triple bag, so let's go ahead and start cutting some of these guys open. Sorry, I'm doing this kind of one handed here, so. First bag. Alright, a little leakage, not bad, just normal, looking good. Discus looks good. Oh, yeah, this is, these are discus, by the way. <laughs> Second bag. Ooh, a lot of water. Let's see which one kind of leaked. Uh, well, all of them does have water in there. There's the other one. Doing good. This one's doing look good too. I'm just spot checking to make sure that one of them's not out of water. Okay, they're all good. I don't know where this all this water came from, by the way. So can't figure that out. All right, so I'm gonna quickly explain what I'm gonna do. I'm literally going to directly put the discus into this tank here. Those discus are actually wild caught discus, so, so the water parameters has to be in a certain condition. What I did was ask the uh, the seller what their conditions was, um, and I pretty much try to match uh, the tank condition as best as possible. This is half and half, so half tap and half RODI. So I'm going to go ahead and just transfer the fish directly in here. Um, without actually doing the acclimation because this tank parameter is very, very closely matched to the seller's condition. So the fish looks really healthy. I'm going to go ahead and just transfer them, reduce the stress, reduce the acclimation time on them. Um, so let's go ahead and cut these up and put them in there. All right, you can't see them right now, but they're in the tank. I'm going to let them kind of chill for a little bit and I'll probably do some more footage once the light comes on and we'll see how they kind of react or how they are. So as you can see here, they're actually trying to acclimate to the new parameters. I did um, pull off the CO2, so no CO2 is going to run for a couple of days. So that I don't want to introduce any other variables that can stress these guys out. Uh, once they're good, I'll probably turn back on the CO2 since these guys are going to go into a CO2 tank, which is this tank over here eventually. And um, I kind of try to ease them into that tank later. Alright, as you can see here, we got the new discus in the tank. This is literally a couple hours into the tank. The fish are slowly acclimating. They look like they're doing really well. They really have nice uh, center bars. So I'm hoping that that develops further as they grow up. I did put a couple flakes in here and they did uh, eat a little bit of it. But right now, they're super shy, obviously. They're hiding under the uh, shade here. And hopefully, in the next couple of days here, they'll get used to the tank and hopefully come out uh, in the open so that you can kind of see them a little bit better. It looks like they're still kind of shy. This is probably towards the end of the day here. They're still there, but they actually came out a little bit. I put some flakes up in here and most of it's gone except for a couple of them. So I know that coming out to, to peck at it and then if any of them kind of wash against here, they'll grab it. So yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe to see these guys. Um, in action and as they grow up look at that mid bar man that mid bar is sick 
Until next time, guys. Peace.